and welcome to day 17 of your 24 days of Pilates. Today we're going to do a fierce and fiery Pilates routine and what we're going to do is we're going to go back to a few exercises from the last three days. So we did our thighs, our hips, feel the thighs and then we did our obliques and waist and then we had an abs and arms. So I'm just going to mash that all together to create a really nice routine for us today. So let's begin just warming up through the spine. So we'll come down onto our backs um, and just come into some lovely spine curls. So just come into the middle of your mat, gently come down, just let the body just settle for a moment and just sort of checking in with it today, this morning or this evening, whenever you're doing your class and just letting your shoulders open wide feeling your feet nice and relaxed and long, back of the neck long, taking a nice full deep breath in and a long complete exhale out, melting through the chest and shoulders. And we'll take one more there, breathing in, expanding those ribs and then exhale, feeling that gathering and centering. And then next time we breathe out, we're gonna press the low back towards the mat and just start to peel your spine up, bone by bone. So we're pressing into the feet, pubic bone higher than the belly button, rolling up, opening the hips, press through those arms, stand into the feet, feel this nice sense of opposition, thighs reaching that way. And then we're gonna breathe in and breathe out as we melt down through the chest, long neck as we roll down, keeping those thighs narrow. So we'll do two more, just getting nice and articulate through that spine, breathing in, breathing out. Press the low back down and start to activate those glutes as you roll up. Good, can you check that there's no wavering, no dipping left to right, feeling nice and centered, and then melting between the shoulder blades as you start to come down through that back, all the way back to our neutral. Good, we'll do one more. Pressing that low back down, drawing your navel gently towards your spine. As you come up, starting to stand into the feet as you work the hamstrings, the backs of the legs, keeping that chest open, collarbone wide, breathing in and breathing out as you work down through the waist, all the way back to the mat. Good, we're gonna keep that pelvis nice and balanced. So you can imagine you're balancing a cup of tea or something on that pelvis. And we're gonna float the right leg up. And we're gonna just take six toe taps with that right foot. So breathing in as it taps down, keep both sides of the waist long. Exhale as it comes up. So we're just checking that stability today, feeling that lovely neutral spine. You've got four, inhale and exhale and three, inhale. Collarbone open, last two. And then we're gonna hold it up and come into that exercise, that single leg bridge with the extra dip and lift that we did from our hip Pilates a few days ago. So we're gonna lift up, bridge those hips, little drop an inch, little lift an inch, and then all the way down, okay? We've got 10 on each side. Lift, dip, lift, and down. So we're starting to work through that left hamstring and glutes three, trying to keep those hips nice and level, four, good, and just keeping that lovely rhythm of your breath, five more, lovely, feeling into the back of that left leg, you've got four, little dip, lift and lower, so rather than articulating now, we're just bridging, three more, Ribs funneling towards the hips. We've got two. Trying to keep nice and open through that chest. We've got last one. Excellent. And down through the center. Place that foot down. Six toe taps with that left leg. Check in your pelvis. Lengthen your spine as you bring that left knee up. And we tap. Inhale and exhale. Breathing in. Breathing out, finding your length, standing into that right leg. You've got three, inhale. So that subtle connection to the abdominals on the inhale and the exhale. Last one. And we hold that knee just above that hip, coming into the other side. Now try not to be tempted to creep that right foot into the center because you know what's coming. Let's keep it in line with that sit bone as we come up for 10. Little dip, lift and lower. Nine. 
ribs to hips, collarbone open, eight. Try and come down straight down in one piece rather than rolling down. Six. You might find that one side feels stronger than the other or a little bit uneven. We're just trying to bring ourselves into that center, just finding awareness. Good, four more. Just becoming more aware, more centered, three. Good, you've got two. <sighs> really hard, this single leg bridge stuff is super hard. We've got last one. And we're coming down and placing that foot down. Now we're gonna take some alternating toe taps. So again, check in with that pelvis, draw the shoulders away from the ears, float the right leg, float the left leg. Okay, we're gonna inhale, tap right, exhale, lift, inhale, tap left. So just nice and grounding, connecting. Inhale, reaching long through those arms and making sure that we're just feeling that subtle centering, that gentle lift up, like your hip bones are drawing in and up towards your belly button, belly button drawing back towards the spine. Well done. Okay, we're gonna come into our double toe tap with our little pelvic lift. So bring those legs together for me now. We're gonna inhale, double toe tap, exhale, little lift. So we did this in our Routine, arms and abs, we're gonna inhale, doesn't have to be too low, exhale, little scoop. Maybe just keeping the first part of the exercise today or maybe adding in that little press of the low back down. Try not to use the momentum of the legs. So we're rolling that lower back up, working through those lower abdominals, trying not to swing. We're gonna add a little curl up to this if we can. Okay, we've got four more, inhale, Exhale, three, long arms. Try and find that ease through the shoulders for me today. You've got two, maybe go a little bit lower, last one, and hold those legs there. Now we're gonna reach those arms up. Oh, I can already feel my abs. We're gonna interlace the hands behind the head. Just checking that we're nice and level on that mat. I feel like I've gone a little bit with you there. So just checking that you've got that levelness. We're going to hands behind the head. We're going to curl up, nod the chin towards the chest. I'm just going to tighten my ponytail, curling up. And then we're going to inhale and exhale. Same exercise, a little bit harder in this curl up. Inhale and exhale. Trying to go through the centre rather than letting that pelvis kind of rock down on one side. Good. Always put the head down if you feel you need to. Inhale, feeling those lower abs. Exhale, we've got four more. Lift that chest, inhale. Exhale, squeeze those legs together. You've got three. Good, you've got two through that center. You've got last one. Good, now we're gonna hold the back of our legs. We're gonna curl deeper and we're gonna rock up. Shoulders away from the ears. You're gonna press your thighs into your hands. Lift your chest, gently press your low back down and find this little scoop up to our seated position. Lovely, let's come into our little tricep dips back. So come in here with your knees bent, feet out in front, hands coming behind you, seeing if you can have the fingers pointing forwards towards the feet. What oh, a beautiful sunny day today. So we're gonna bend those elbows and lift. So trying to get those elbows back towards the wall behind you. Just keeping that pelvis nice and balanced. Opening across the chest, working through the backs of the arms. Breathing in as we go down, try not to sink. Breathing out as you press up, pressing the mat away. Inhale and exhale. Checking that we're not getting to kind of roll down. We're gonna keep that chest open. Keep working through the center. We've got five. Nice and calm, we've got four. Maybe feeling a little stretch in the shoulders and the wrists. We've got three, keeping those knees level. We've got two, ribs funneling towards those hips. We've got last one, we're holding there. We're drawing in through those abdominals. We're opening that chest, little up and down, just 10. Told you we're gonna add some fiery things here. Nine, eight, seven, small movements, six, drawing in five, four, Three, try not to be too big with this. Two, really small. 
last one, we come up, open that chest towards the ceiling, opening it up, and then just let your thighs drop open. You're gonna reach your arms all the way up alongside your ears, and we'll take a little forwards fold before we come into the next section. I've got a little bit of fluff on my foot. So a little stretch for those hips that we've worked and those bridges. And then when you're ready, just make your way to all fours, and we're gonna do a little combo section. So we've got a few little bits now where we're gonna kind of add two exercises together that we have done, and we're going to um, kind of repeat them back and forth and then you'll see what's coming. So let's come on to all fours. So we're gonna start off with our little mini tricep dips here in this position. So we're gonna do six, then we're gonna come into our hover and our little thread through working through the waist that we did in our waist and obliques exercise. So we're gonna go knees together, long spine, tailbone away from the head. We're gonna do six dips here. Six, five, four, elbows back towards the waist, three, keeping that neutral spine, two, and one. Now we're gonna come into that hover, breathing in, Exhale, hover the knees, press the mat away. Send the knees to the right, opening through that side, taking the leg out. Coming back to the center, working through the waist, taking the other leg out. So we've got six here with slow, steady control. Open through that chest. Work to lift away from the floor like you're resisting gravity. One more to each side and then back into the six tricep dips. So coming back, knees come down, inhale, six, five, keep going, ribs back, four, three, navel to spine, two, and one, and we go again, we go in two, come into that hover, bring the leg through, lift up through that underneath side of the waist, come back through the center and extend. So that little swizzle, see if you can extend the leg. You've got four. Open the arm to the ceiling, maybe look up. Three, one more to each side. Control the stepping back, two. And last one, we're gonna do it one more time, three. Bring yourself down, six, little dip, six. Gather in, five. Keep going, four, three, two. And one, one more time for that thread through. Gather into the center, twist into the right, opening back again. Really find this steadiness as you go through. Try not to rush. Good, strong press away from the mat. One more to each side, lifting on the waist. Last one. Good, and we'll come down after that last set. Well done, next little section, we're gonna go mountain climbers and then little goal post chest lift, um, arm lift in our extended prone position. So let's have a little rest back, reach those fingertips forwards, and then when you're ready, you're gonna come into your plank position. So we're gonna do nice, slow mountain climbers, six, alternating, so press them out away, Gather in, we've found that center. We're stepping back into our plank. Long press through those heels, long spine. Slow and steady for six. Five, breathe out as it comes in. Four, three, imagine you're pulling that leg from your waist. Last one, you're gonna come onto the front. All the way down, legs a little bit wider. Arms into that goal post position. We lift through our upper back, lengthen through those legs. And we're gonna go six, just the arms, five, four, gently squeeze in between those shoulders, drawing in through that waist, three, two, and one. Bring it back to the center, legs together, press up, back to plank, six mountain climbers, six, five, four, slow and steady, three, wide shoulders, two, and one. Knees down down through that upper body. Long legs lengthen out through the crown of this head and we go for six. Feet stay down, five. Open chest, gently draw the shoulders together, four, three, working those back extensors, two, and one. We've got one more time. When you can, come down, press up, back to that plank, strong. We've got six, five, try not to rush, four, three, use that breath, two, 
and one, slowly down. Working those arms as you come down. Lifting through that upper back, long through the legs, press the pubic bone away, and we go six, five, four, long neck, three, breathe, two, one, and rest down, good. Let's come back to our child's pose, our rest position. Oh, another press there. And now we're gonna work through our sides. So we're gonna come into our elbow to knee. Okay. So we're gonna come onto our side. So just come onto one side. And we are got a very loose scrunchie today. That's a bit annoying. So. We're gonna come onto one side. Remember, you can always roll the mat up um, just to give yourself a little extra padding underneath the elbow. So try not to sort of suffer if you're on a hard surface. Give yourself a little bit of padding. And we're gonna come here, we're gonna extend the top leg out. We're gonna reach the top arm up. So we've got this elbow to knee, and then we've got the leg arm straight and leg straight as well. So eight of each, press through, working all the way out through the crown of the head. Bring everything in, find that internal support system and we go eight long length four more four you're not collapsing you're lengthening three reach 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 really enjoy that reach two and one now arm and leg straight eight reach Seven, not collapsing, face the side. Six, reach. Five, reach. Four, you can do it. You've got three, that leg is slow, so long. Two, and one. Well done, we're coming onto the side, all the way down flat. Legs out nice and straight. Finding that neutral pelvis, hip over hip. Legs slightly in front of us. Lengthen your tailbone away. Lift through the underneath side. Maybe hand in front to balance. Lift those legs. We're gonna take a little scissor. One leg comes forward, one leg goes back. From that center, you're controlling. Make this as big or as small as you feel you can without rocking or wobbling around. We've got four. We've got three, enjoy that reach, two, like someone's pulling those legs away. Last one, and then we'll go small for eight, seven, small, six, five, four, three, two, one, legs together, lift high and long, and lower those legs down. Good, so let's press ourselves up. Take a little stretch, so hug your legs in. The arm that you were just on, laying on, we're gonna bring it by the side and just turn our face up to that, imagine. There's beautiful sun shining on your face. You're shining your face up towards it and then coming all the way. Let's do a little transition through the center and then to the other side. So elbow down, lifting through that waist, checking the shoulder stabilizers, pelvis neutral, leg and arm reach away from each other. We go eight. Good. Breathing and centering, most important. Finding length. We've got four, long neck, we've got three. Try not to drop the head down. Two, and one, and then we're gonna go eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, and you're lengthening. You've got three, breathe. You've got two, long leg, you've got one and reach. Let's come down onto that side of those scissor legs here, this little extra exercise. So really checking in, lengthen those legs, find that lift and we scissor. So the big scissors first with control, like someone's pulling those legs away. <sighs> trying not to have too much tension on this top hand, trying not to dig in. Four, three, Two, feeling that length. One, then we're gonna go little and small and quick. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Legs together, lower down. Okay, we're coming into a little final section. Let's just come up. Let's bring ourselves in, we'll take a side stretch. So we're gonna do a little standing leg work. So we're gonna do the side leg raises that we did from our, our hit, and then we're gonna come into a little finisher. Okay, I won't tell you what that is yet. So come all the way up, and then just make your way to a downward dog position. So coming through a downward dog, hover the knees, there's a little down stretch. Oh, enjoy that little hamstring 
Stretch, just walking your hands back towards your feet. Nice soft knees and we'll roll to standing. Good, Love on me today. Okay, so coming into your little mini squat position. So we're gonna go legs together, squatting down long neutral spine. We're gonna take one leg out to the side, making sure this knee is not rocking and rolling around. Nice and stable, hips level, we lift and lower. 16, 15, 14, long waist. So the standing work, we're testing the balance as well as the stability. Working through the side of the leg. Oh, I can't remember what we're on now. <laughs> 10, I feel like I've been quite good at counting though. Nine in general, recently. Eight, seven, try not to lean over to the side. Six, five, coming from that center. Four, maybe feeling this thigh. Three, try not to swing the leg. Two, and one, well done, bring it back, get a little bit deeper, find that center in, lengthen the waist, other leg, 16 here. <sighs> Breathe, trying not to lean over, I can feel myself going, <sighs> gonna try and balance, maybe take the arms out to the side, or bring them in. <sighs> trying not to scrunch the toes, 11, I feel like I'm talking to myself here, 10, trying not to do the things that we know, nine, Keeping that Pilates mind. Eight, this, fill this leg, lengthen in a way. Seven, you've got it, we're nearly done. Six, five, Ooh, lengthen. Four, work through those hips, just take it as high as you can without changing the shape of the body. Last four, last three, last two, Ooh, you've got it. Last one and bring it in. We're gonna come down onto our mat again to so make your way back into your plank position. We're gonna do 10 plank jacks. Remember, you can just take the leg, then we're gonna come into crisscross. We're gonna do it three times for our finisher. Shoulders down, we've got 10. Nine, remember, you can just take the tap. You've got five, four, hips low, two, one. Gently make your way onto your back for your crisscross, working through those obliques. Hands come behind the head. Nod the chin, curl the chest. Floating the legs to tabletop. We rotate, 10, nine, up and across, eight. Long legs, seven, ready, twist in six. Through that center, five, lovely rotation, four, three, breathe, two, one. Hug the knees. Let's turn around, come back to those plank jacks. Here we go, find that plank steady. Five, four, Three, two, one. Coming down. Gently come around to the crisscross. You've got it. Curling up. Ten, nine, eight, seven. I told you we were going to go a little bit more fiery. Four, three, two, and one. Hug it in. Last time. Coming around. Finding that plank position. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Coming down, coming onto the back. Last time here. Breathe, try right, not to rush. Take as much time as you need. We've got 10 up and across. Nine, eight, stabilize that pelvis. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And relax. Oh, good job, guys. Just give those knees a little hug. Let that low back stretch. Got some good stuff in there. Some familiar things, a few new things. Let's just bring the feet down, feet wide, and just let your knees just gently rock left to right. Breathing in, breathing out. Ooh, a few little clicks. Okay, and then we'll just make our way up to seated. So let's just come through that assisted Roll up and we'll just sit to finish in our cross-legged or frog position. Taking a nice deep breath in through the nose. And you're all set up. Relax in a way. Good job, guys. That was very fierce and fiery. So I hope you enjoyed that. And I will see you again tomorrow for day 18. Let me know how you're getting on in the comments below. And I'll see you soon. Bye.